The third thing is this. Be a good enough friend to yourself to say no to things that are wrong. Everybody just say the word no. no. It's not hard, right? Say it again. No. 1 Corinthians 16, 13 says this. Be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Take a compliment. Say thank you when someone compliments you. As a matter of fact, we have to tell the people later when we leave, thank you for saying nice things to me today. I appreciate that. Be sure to say nice things to yourself about yourself. Stop your negative self-talk. How many times do we go to the mirror, ladies and girls? Do we go to the mirror and we look in the mirror and we go, really? <laughs> You're going to go out, look, look at your hair. That is awful. You've got to do something about that. I mean, we, the way we talk to ourselves, we would never talk to each other like that. I would never walk up to any of you and go, you look horrible today. <laughs> but we talk to ourselves like that. When we look in the mirror, the first thing we think, you look really bad, girlfriend. We would never say that to each other. Why do we feel that it's okay to talk to ourselves like that? It's not. Stop it. Just stop talking negative things over yourself. And then do this. Stop fantasy thinking. If I were just taller, if I were just shorter, if I were just thinner, if I were just bigger, if I had brown hair, if I had blonde hair, you can fix that when you get older, by the way, look at me. Um, <laughs> if I had long fingernails, if I had short, I mean, we could go on for days thinking what's wrong with us. Do you ever stop to think what's right with you? There's so many things to think about. Life would not be life if you weren't here. God made you the way you are because he had a plan just for you to live out the life he created you for. He loves you because he made you. Now, the other friendship I want to talk to you about is the one that you have with your moms and mom's the one that you have with your daughter. When I was between the ages of 12 and 18, my mom and I definitely did not see eye to eye on a lot of things. I'm sure that has not happened in this room anywhere. But I thought some days she was the most uncool, goofiest, weirdest person that God had ever dropped on the planet. Because she just didn't get me. I am a teenager. I know everything. I'm tired of her telling me what I need to know. I'm tired of her telling me what I need to wear. And she just needs to get over it because I'm cute. 